a relationship and the smaller you are, I was small for many years. Just bad checks. Oh Roger, I'll write you another check. Well you knew you wrote me a bad check when you when you wrote it, you know? But I gotta be okay. Well Roger, you're my guy. I don't wanna be your guy, I wanna get paid. Now, when she answers my phone, they don't know that we're married. They they think it's an office setting. Well it is an office setting, but you know, it's all professional. Oh, well a nice lady on the phone said that you were blah 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 blah. Not well your wife was real nice and she it's a big difference there. And um I'm gonna let you sell yourself. I, I got I got I'm gonna talk about my new deal. <laughs> Everyone, I'm Roger Lloyd. Um, since you're, most of you are in the, uh, we can get that started if it's not started already, my friend. Um, if, since you're not in the carpet clean, I mean the carpet cleaning industry as of yet, or maybe never, um, you don't know me, but I have a Facebook group called the Carpet Cleaning World on Facebook. I'm also on YouTube as the Carpet Cleaners Consultant. But don't let that scare you away or what I'm about to share with you less valuable for what you do. To uh, let you know, John Burdick here is from Pennsylvania. Actually, he's one of my uh, neighboring cleaners, also a good friend, John Burdick. Um, he can attest to everything I'm saying. I've been in the business for about 30 years. Um, carpet cleaning is what I do, but I am a marketer first. So when you say, gentleman right here said, so are you, uh, is all you do carpet cleaning? No, I'm a marketer first. For many years, um, I had a mold and water damage business, as I said, until I had got sick and had a stroke. And then I couldn't deal with that, you know, going up in moldy roofs and attics and things like that because of health parameters and things like that. But I tell you that mold money that, that restoration money, just talking to the insurance adjuster when they send you out on a job. Well, you know, it's just wonderful. So I can attest and I can understand why you guys would kind of frown up on carpet cleaning. But, you know, it's still constant money. It's much easier money and it's more regular. Well, I say constant money. Um, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about becoming the known professional in the zip code of your choice. I live in a small farm section called Pottstown, Pennsylvania at the present time. Um, I would say the going rate for carpet cleaning there is maybe between $30 to $40. If I, um, you know, if I get a good customer that wants a little, you know, a little bit more value. But for the type of cleaner that I want to be and the type of customer that I choose, I want to be out in an area called like Malvern, Westchester. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. That is you the know, main line. Right. All Big of line. that is high end, $50, you know, $100 room type deal. More so, closer to Center City. Right. Yeah. Main line, like he said. Lancaster Avenue, all that area is main Definitely. line, old money, Westchester, kind of fresh, kind of new money, but all that whole line is money. A lot of carpet cleaners can't even get over on that side because they don't have the equipment, nor the education, nor the knowledge to clean for someone like that. So with my Every Door Direct Mail program, I can target income. What I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, I know we all ride by certain neighborhoods and we were taught this for many years. You know, oh, I want to get in that neighborhood. I want to clean those houses there. You know, have some bad news for you. Sometimes just because a house is nice, it could have been inherited by the children. And they are barely holding on to this house. You understand what I'm saying? They can't afford this house. This was their parents' house that they just got because their parents passed away or however, they were able to obtain the house. So you don't want to just look at homes, you want to look at incomes. Because you, like I said, you don't want to deal with checks that are bouncing. You don't want to deal with people that, you know, are hard to deal with. You want people that can afford your service, you want to do a quality job, and you want to make some money. 
Carpet cleaning is still looked at as a commodity. Water damage, mold restoration, well, that's something you have to do. Especially if you want to sell your house and, you know, have no problems. Um, a lot of people, if they have floods, if their water ho uh, washing machine hoses break in the middle of the night, they may have to go all weekend. And then they didn't realize that, you know, their water is, you know, their floors are soaking wet. And you know, everyone, you guys are in the mold and restoration, but really mold starts growing in what? Less than 24 hours, right? So that's what we tell people, we yeah. gotta get out there and we have to get on this. And so what you wanna do in your case, I'm speaking to you and how EDMs will work for you. You wanna let everyone know in your zip code of choice that should they ever have a problem like this, maybe, I, I know I used to do a lot of mold testing when I didn't have mold restoration, like didn't have the work that was calling in. So the way I was living, I um, became a mold inspector. Very easy. You can get the uh, air, aerosol machine or the little uh, test air tester machines, and you can offer that on the EDDMs. What do I mean by EDDMs? Every door direct mail. You pick a zip code, every business, every resident, every apartment, every realtor, everyone that you I've heard over the last five or six years, Roger, I want to target this, I want to target them, I want to do this. Well, the good thing about every door direct mail, it doesn't matter if they're on Facebook, it doesn't matter if they're scrolling, it doesn't matter if they're on Google and they're looking for you. With the every door direct mail program, it hits every address no matter what. Maybe, just maybe, someone is looking for someone to, to do a mold test or handle a mold job, and they just, you know, they didn't want to get on Google and have to research. They didn't know who to look at and, you know, who they trust on Facebook, because anybody can advertise on Facebook, right? So, then your mailer comes. Hmm. This, this company says they uh, do mold testing and mold restoration. Hey, honey, why don't you, why don't you get them a call? And before you know it, if you guys aren't mold testing, all three of you that are in the business, it's very simple. Um, I can connect you with a guy named Fidel from Pro Labs. He's awesome. He will set you up with the air testing equipment. Um, it's very simple to mail the um, test results back to you or he, you mail them to him. He sells you the mailers. So all you have to do, he'll explain to you how to seal it up and send it to him. Pro Labs will test um, the results. If there's any mold or whatever in there, send it back to you. And guess what? You either have a mold job or you don't. Because after you test someone's house, they're not going and you tell them they have mold. Well, guess what? They, they got a decision to make. But for every, let's get back to the testing first. I know nobody's here for carpet cleaning except Yana, so I'm, 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 I might as well talk to them about what I, I, this is what I know. I did it for 10 years. Um, good money. Good money. So at any rate, um, so for every air to every sample that you would take during mold testing, I used to charge $125. So let's talk about, John, those houses on Westchester again. And first of all, their credit cards are literally gold. I mean, literally, when they take them out of their wallet, they have a gold card. So you don't have to worry about their money balancing or nothing like that. Um, so, but they might have like an eight room house, but you don't have to uh, do eight, uh, all eight rooms. They have four levels. So one, two, three, four. So that's four times 125 for me. Then if you see something on the wall or in this, particularly in the basement, that's kind of black or fuzzy looking or whatever, you can do a swab test. That's also 100. Every sample is $125. I would make $100 because they charge me $25 to test it. That's good money. So the test results come back. It's not a conflict of interest. You're going to hear this. Oh, you're doing the testing and you're doing the remediation. Oh, you're a scammer. That's the, you know, you can't do that. No. Pro Labs is doing it. I don't even know who the scientist is at Pro Labs that's doing the testing. He sends it back. I read the results to the client. And then I let them know what needs to be done. And I give them my price. 
and every door direct mailer will work just that way. You let everyone know in your zip code of choice, Charleston, South Carolina, whatever zip code you are, maybe you don't want to do your zip code. Maybe there's a real nice zip code like me and John have out where we're at, and you want to send it out there. It's very simple. Bring up the first, uh, bring up the slides. Disregard all the carpet cleaning stuff, okay? I'm going to, yeah, go to the next slide. They already see. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, they already know where they are. <laughs> okay. I do want you to understand this. This is my slogan. John is in my Facebook group. The guys laugh at me every time they see this. Target the market. Don't let the market target you. Don't wait for the phone to ring. Don't. Let them know, like I'm telling you. Let them know. You let everyone know in your zip code of your choice that if they have a mold or water damage break at 1 o'clock in the morning, you're getting that call. Oh, well, we got something in the mail. What's that guy's at 24-hour emergency service? You know where it's going? Right on the refrigerator? Or right in the uh, drawer anymore. Everybody don't put them on refrigerators like we did when we grew up. Our parents had like 50 million magnets, right? Um, <laughs> and also, they have the QR codes now. So it's even better since the pandemic, which was so sad for many people last year, but that was kind of good for us, unfortunately, because people were at home tearing up the houses, the pets were tearing up the houses, the, the commercial, the businesses were closed, shut down, leaks, floods everywhere because the businesses were closed. So before they really open up now, they have to get all that fixed, all, and they got the money. Biden was nice. He started just putting money in everything. And that's all I'm gonna say about the government because I'm not here about that. <laughs> all right? But you can get some money right now. Free money. You can get some money. So they're getting these things done. So if you offer, what I'm saying is estimates, and no, don't call them. Like I'm saying these every door direct mail pro this program that I'm going to explain, you will target the market and don't wait for them to call you. Don't wait for the market to target you. Go to the next one. This is what it all is about. USPS.com. Every door direct mail. For me and John, if John wants to do commercial work, if John wants to do residential work, if John wants to do uh, restaurants, if he wants to do apartments, it doesn't matter. Everyone in whatever zip code that he chooses is going to know who he is. Now, wait a minute. It's Roger saying, oh, so I'm going to get 100,000 calls? No. What I'm saying is you're buying exposure and you're not buying a job. When you go on Facebook and you advertise your mold or water damage business, when you go on Google and you put mold restoration, unless you're in Google Maps, which is free, you're buying a job. If you get on Home Advisor, Yelp, uh, and the list goes on, I'm not gonna throw them all out there, but um, you're buying a job. But if you do the Every Door Direct Mail, Everyone's going to know you. You're buying exposure. And then when the time is right, all the jobs fall into your lap. I just told you, a lady called me. She's been getting my every door direct mail since the beginning of the pandemic. She just called us right before we came here. You held on to it that long? Well, yeah, I wanted the pandemic to be over. And um, I held, I saw after your car, you keep sending them to me. So I said, you got to be what? The guy to call. She didn't say she found me on Facebook. I advertise on Facebook. She didn't say she found me on Google. I don't advertise on Google, but I'm on Google Maps. I'm number one. But she didn't find me there. <clears throat> I made it very easy. Yes, probably the first two she threw in the trash, but they keep coming every quarter. That's how big business does it. They don't advertise on Google. They don't advertise on Facebook. Stanley Steamer, of course, because that's you know, well, I'm a car, car dealer, right? They don't have it. They, they might have, they have a, a Facebook page where you can go visit, but you will never see them boost a post 
or pay Facebook for some prime advertisement because they're buying the job. No, they buy exposure. First thing a lady will say when she called, well, I was going to call Stanley Steamer, but I saw you guys were pretty close, and I really want someone local. It works. Now, let's talk about retention. For years, I was taught by my mentors, oh, you want to send out postcards every quarter or every so many months, or you want to give customers a call every six months and tell them it's time to get their cleaning done again. Yeah, that's outdated. It worked 20 years ago. With the Every Door Direct Mail program, every quarter, I'm sending the same EDDMs to the same neighborhoods, the same people, so if they were happy with my work four months ago, six months ago, a year ago, guess who they're gonna call? and I don't have to send out extra postcards. I don't have to do anything extra. So that's retention. It's reminding them. Also, what's the other big R we like? Referrals. You guys are in the water damage business, the mold business. You want all the realtors in your zip code to do what? Oh, I got a guy. I, got, I know a guy. He can come out and do it. He'll let send him to the house. But let's get back. How many of you are thinking about when I just told you about mold testing? How many of you are thinking about getting into that if, you, if you're not into it already? We already do. You already do? You're not into that? You're not interested? Mm -hmm. oh, you must be good. You must got some. I need to talk. So what about you, you no? Know? Yeah. Um, oh, good. Uh, New York's got some too. Like yeah, some yeah. so like we tell people if you want to use third party, go for it. We're more than happy to work with them. But. So then, um, if you can, I was ready for both of y'all to say that. See, I, I, I'm, I play chess, my wife's gonna laugh when I say that. I'm always making a smart chess move, I hope. When I ask you, I expect you to, because I'm looking at your faces and your expressions. I'm trying to get you guys, I wanna see your eyes color, and then I know I got you. Um, you guys are good. You're thinking about one card between the two on the top. Um, what about offering a free mold analysis I mean, are you, first of all, do you guys stay busy all the time? Do you not have any downtime where you could use some extra? No, we get bored. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. Now, I got always, one. always, and then more work. <laughs> so, how about offering a free mold analysis? You got, you have to have some type of mold detection equipment, and even if you don't, you, you've been doing it long enough, you know how to detect something that don't look right, and um, maybe it just needs to be cleaned off. Maybe you just know it's some type of mold that doesn't belong on the wall in the basement, and you can, you have the equipment and everything to get it off. You will be surprised how many people would call and go, yeah, this is something in my basement. I, I just didn't know who to call, but I see that you say you'll do a mold analysis, not free. No, you're not doing it for free, whatever you would charge and then they get you in the door. That's what this is all about, getting you in the door. Now, if you're sitting on globs and globs of money, then any, nothing I can say, I might as well just let her talk. Man. You need somebody to answer your phones. Um, but mold analysis, EDDMs, I don't know. If I was still doing it, I would probably charge about four or five hundred dollars, because that's how much I would charge if I did a regular mold test. The only thing I'm taking away is the twenty-five dollars to have a scientist tell them what my experience I already know. So, but that definitely would bring you some more leads. What you guys do from there is what you've been doing all the time, telling people what they don't want to hear. How many times do you talk to someone and tell them they have mold or, you know, give them a price and you just see your customer? I've never had a customer that I told they had mold in their basement. They were like, oh, good, just clean it up. They all say, how much? How much? Well, we're looking. No, I need to know. I'm trying to tell you what needs. I don't care what needs to be done. How much is Five, ten thousand, I don't know, until I, you know, start summing up. Five or ten. 
then they call their insurance company or you know they well, however they have to work it out then a day or two right i get a call okay well you said you would take half down i have the check or i have the credit card but it's always getting over that initial hump of you know telling them they have a situation and mold is more scary than you know you got no what do you do for us? I'm sorry, sir. You came in a little bit late. What do you do? I'm with the Market Supply Restoration Company in Florida. So I need to just take all this down? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because in Vegas, I'm going to have two presentations. Right? I, I see. We're going to have two classes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's how you could effectively use every new. Go to the next one. They seem to pick your up. Uh, Okay, this is what I was talking about. This is the zip code that you could choose. This is the zip code and then the wrap number. The first number here is how many residents are in that zip code. The second number here is how many commercial businesses are in that zip code. And here is a total of both in that zip code. So this will be all the EBDMs that you would be sending to that zip code and the percentage and how many people are in the home. How many people are in the home. And now this is what I was trying to get to. This is the income bracket, not the actual home value. Because like I told you, the home value, somebody can have a nice home and inherit it, but can't afford it. It looked decent on the outside because it's in that neighborhood, but then when you go inside, it's mold everywhere. So that would be a dream. But could they afford to pay you? You see what I'm saying? So you want to know the incomes to make sure you can make your money. We're not in this business cleaning or restoration just for fun. We want to get paid. Now, this last number here, at 19 and a half cents, is how much it would cost to mail to 840, not residents, not commercial, but both. Everyone in that zip code. That easy. Then, it does an order summary right here. It tells you exactly how many addresses are going to get hit. Because you can, you can choose all these zip codes. I mean, all these are routes in the zip code. Excuse me. These are routes in the zip code. All these are the same zip code, but these are all the different routes. So what I'm telling you, I do, I just pick all the routes in that whole zip code, 15, $2,000, whatever, four times a year. Go to the next one. That's all right, I'll break it down. These the EBDMs? Yeah. Yeah, they're flyers. Flyers. Yeah, we're going to get to that one second. Okay. But they're going to be carpet cleaning. I don't want you guys to get up and leave. <laughs> you can change them real easy. Okay. But this is quarter one. Now, I don't know what business this is or whatever. I stole this off the internet to explain it to you. Their first quarter was decent 1.2 million. Their second quarter was better. 2.4 million. Second is 1.6. Oh, Third. oh, yeah. Okay. You can see better. This glare, this is glaring in my eyes. But so now in their third quarter, they took a dip. Two, no, third quarter is 2.048 million. Okay. Fourth quarter is a dip, 1.4 million. Now in the carpet cleaning industry, in the winter time in Pennsylvania, we take a dip. I can send out 8 million EDDMs. I'm going to take a dip because of the wet. Now, for you guys, broken pipes, you probably would do pretty well. But in one quarter, it's always when you have to make a decision, do I want to go harder, or do I just want to keep the same amount of um, EDM, the same routes going? I say keep them regular, so you just never know. Because even though that quarter might be bad, just like when I still send mine out in January, but then in April, I'm getting I'm in, I'm in South Carolina. We're getting calls from my bio clean business all day long. 
So, but they're telling me that they got the card back in January. They didn't say about the card we just sent out because the second quarter started in April. Mm -hmm. So, this is how big I want. I did this for a reason. This is a big business. 1.2 million, 2.4 million. But this is how big businesses market. They don't try to buy jobs here and there through Facebook, through Google AdWords, through Yelp and all that. They market four quarters out of a year. One more. We do what? About $10,000 every four months. A carpet cleaner? You do, Jesus Christ, $10,000 in mailing? Yeah, but for the rest of those three months, we're just sitting back answering the phone. Or we're retaining clients that were happy with us the first time, and we don't have to send out postcards. We don't have to try to remember this. Come on, all of that, that was good 20 years ago. But you evolve, you advance, you advance, right? So just because you own a restoration company or you own a carpet cleaning company and you're a small business owner, as we're called, that doesn't mean you market differently or you run your business differently. You want to market four times a year, and then the rest of those that quarter, you want it all to be income. Now, I'm not saying you don't market at all. If you want to do a special target marketing campaign to something, or that's different. Let's go to the next one, so you guys understand quarters. Now, I know this is carpet cleaning, but I want you guys to get a look at what my EDDMs look like. We can design, we design them for everyone. We have a lady that has a cake shop, a bakery, and she just found me on, on the internet, and she was like, I know that you're a carpet cleaner, I know you can, but I like how colorful and all this, can I send you some pictures and you do this for me? Well, yeah, why not? I mean, that concept still works. She, a regular customer, she pays me more regular than the carpet cleaners do. She gets her EDDM made every four months. It works. She mailed them out. So this is my EDDM for carpet cleaning. It has the prices. It has a special. It has an image. Does this one have the uh, QR code? It does not. OK. That's all right. The QR code came after, like I told you, last year, right? So but well, we put a QR code. You know why? because they can just scan it in their phone, especially for you water damage and restoration guys, they don't want to have to keep searching for you. If they know they're interested, there's a QR code. Super convenient. And guess what? You guys are in their phone. They're not going to look for anybody else. You're locked in. Just a quick scan, you're in. Oh, I need to call them old guy. I need to have them look at this. I need, same with the realtors. The realtor is like, well, I have a QR code that you can scan. That'll take you to the company. Because remember, when you get these in the mail, they put them up for when they need them. Go to the next one. I'm just going to kind of move on because besides John, none of these guys are. Oh, um, there's a QR code on the bottom of that one. Right. This is, once again, I'll explain the concept of this one. This is still a carpet cleaning. Um, EDDM, but it's called my packages, as it states at the top. Packages. Everyone loves choices. People hate when they say, well, ma'am, this is going to cost you $10,000. You can give me $5,000 down, I can start next week. You know, I don't know. Um, I would have to be back in the mold business, but I still like to give my customer some type of choices where you know, we could, um, I don't know, leave the air movers there for an additional so many days if they're paying for it out of pocket. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of times they don't have insurance. And they're like, listen, let me talk to you for a minute. Look, I got $2,000. Can you just come in and suck the water out? Well, sir, that's, it's still going to be wet. Oh, yeah, I don't worry about it. If I can't see it, I'm not worried about it. Sir, I'm, I, it's not una, it's unethical, you know. Yeah, well, hmm. well, I'll tell you what. 
I'll give you two packages. I gotta put some fans down here. I gotta put a DU down here. I mean, I'll give you a, a two, two day minimum, but I'm telling you, and I'm gonna need you to sign off. I really would like to leave it here for a week. Your basement is so much square footage, blah, 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 you guys know it. But if they're paying for it out of pocket, I mean, do you just turn them away? And you know, you, you know what's gonna happen, but at least you did something and then maybe, just maybe, if they do buy, buy into your cheapest package and they see after this, so many days and you come back to get it and you say, well, sir, see, I just want you to look at this moisture meter here. Woo, 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 woo. You know, beeping and going crazy. You know, I, I don't feel rightly. And then he's going to come back, see a few days went by, but he already feel like he won because you gave him choices. Uh, well, it is kind of wet, huh? What's the best you can do, sir? I'm gonna need another $500 to leave here a couple more days. I mean, you got two DUs here. You got four um, fans, sir. This, this is a, a big chunk of my uh, rental uh, equipment here. All right, man, because I need this done. It works. Packages. Oh, uh, so I'm not gonna go into any more of this because you guys, well, you got, John, I, I got to a little bit because. You guys are thinking about carpet cleaning, and John got done it. You are in um, packages. John's um, John um, was um, what top carpet cleaner in Bucks County for how many years? Uh, that you were well, thirty, yeah, thirty-one. Um, one best of Bucks, my area. Well, that's that Bucks County. Ten years in a row. That's awesome. And that's that's clients voting me. I have, nice. I have no way to make that adjustment because they have to go in and log in their info and make that happen. That's huge for marketing. Absolutely. And I put it on everything. Yeah. <laughs> on the van everywhere mm -hmm. because you just can't you can't even buy that. You know what I mean? It's it's huge. It's absolutely huge. John Bird. <laughs> Berg's cleaning. Um, so John, I, I I don't know if you do prices or uh, square footage, but either way, packages just they work. They yeah, it's work. It, totally. You know, it's the direction you've gone. I, I don't do package for say. That's very uh, exact, and you can get that information ahead of time. It's really educating your client on exactly what you're doing which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So the kind of a pre-qualification, if you would. And there's not really any sale. It's this is what I would like to do, and it's very specific, and it's wonderful. Um, I do things a little bit differently, but um, at the end, we're all getting to the same, same educating result. the client and offering the service that- What's my word, John? We don't say education. We don't say education. We say Educlean. Educlean. That's my word. <laughs> Go to the next one, baby. Oh, John. Well, for everybody, this is called low moisture cleaning right here. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys ever hear about that low moisture? Oh. CRV, um, low moisture cleaning. A lot of the guys that uh, purchase my mailing, once again, Roger, I don't do the hot water stretch. I do commercial work, and I use it, you know, I do low moisture. There it is. Go to the next one. Tile and grout clean. Front and back. Go to the next. What's the size of those postcards? Six by 11. Do we have a sample? Did you bring a sample? I did not, but they will be at our booth. We'll be okay. at 606. Upholstery, six by six, two-sided. The postal code for the EDDM is already when we uh, get them, when we create them for you. All these are ready to go. All you got to do is go right to the post office. We help you select the routes and uh, zip code that you want, and we send tell you what food. Well, if you don't know where your post office is, we tell you the address of your post office. You just drop, count them in hundreds, drop them off at your post office. And just and within three days they have to have them all delivered. All it could be, we what we've had twenty one thousand. All twenty one thousand are delivered within three days. So you better be 
Way to go. Good. You may get that heavy flow of coal. But you can spread that out if you're doing different routes, right? That's right. You can. That's it. That's exactly right. Roger. Yes. Well, quick question. Maybe this is a little bit where you already went over when I walked out. I'm no. sorry. Um, my experience is with, with marketing and, and doing something like that. It takes multiple, multiple times for the client to see this yeah. over and over. And in my past experience, the average is an investment of around six months before you start to see that real investment paying you back. And then it takes a little bit of an effort and you get a constant stream of clients. Is that how it's still happening? Because I'm, I'm doing a couple different things. My experience yeah. was eight times. Eight times? Eight times is matching up with me. Different marketing, but we still direct mail. Right. Yeah. Um, that's why mm -hmm. the thing is, you see, there's some type of special on, I don't care if a person is richy, richy, rich, or if they're you know living out of trash can. People like special offers. So it has to be a special offer. Um, like John, I know Bucks County, of course, and, and Upper Montgomery County. I You can't tell someone that you're going to, um, I don't know, take $25 off when they already have a a million dollar, two million, four thousand, four million dollar home. What's twenty five dollars? So you better show them something, give them something that you know really brings them in. And that's why on all of these every door direct mailers, you see a lot of copy, you see a lot of text. It's breaking down everything that we're going to do. People of stature and money don't care how much it costs. They will spend $10 million with you if they feel like they're getting what they want and if they're being pampered. And with that same scenario, that same type of client, they want security. So if they feel comfortable with you or your crew, you can, it doesn't matter what you charge. They're not, that's not a price shopper. They're the ones that want the quality and the security. And, you know, I train my guys that they're under the camera 24 seven at every moment. And that's it, that's how it works. And you have to gain the trust of the client and then it doesn't matter, they'll just keep calling back. Unless you're a horrible cleaner, you know? Right. <laughs> and that's another thing, I can't help you with that. I have guys that didn't do it. Roger, I didn't sit up two years. No, you didn't. You're walking in last year, you already started off lying. You know? <laughs> But I mean, I have when you bought the first one, but whatever. I get what he's saying. You know, that it didn't work for him. He might have got a couple calls, but nobody called him back. What happened to that retention program you were talking about? Well, let's calm down. What kind of, let's, what do you do when you go in someone's house? Well, uh, I walk around, you know, uh, I tell them what I'm going to charge, and then, you know, I start pulling the hoses. Just hear me out. Do you ask them, you know, like why did they call you or is there a particular reason why they wanted their carpets clean? No, you know, I don't got time to, I listen to you do all that sales. I'm not a salesman, I'm a cleaner. Well, that's where you went wrong. A cleaner is what you do. Whenever you service somebody, you, you have, you, you want to get paid. So there's a sale, there's a sales transaction being made. So you want to find out a little bit about your client. My wife is right here. I have turned clients down. I go in their house, they're like, um, and I ask them what's the op, very friendly, I put this seal of door thing that you know blocks out the cold air or hot air, whatever. I put it in their door and whatever. I put these door jams up so my hoses don't drag around their walls and things like that. You know, we do a whole show. The lady was like, um, can you hurry up? She literally looked at her watch and asked me, could I hurry up? This lady had like eight rooms that I was, I told you, main line. I was like, well, ma'am, um, I have to be careful. I mean, I'm, I said, ma'am, what, what time do you have to be out of here? Well, I really wanted to be out of here in an hour. She had eight rooms, <laughs> gentlemen and ladies. There's no way with my, who I am, I mean, I do, now wait a minute, I know some guys that have went in there and have really, you know, banged it up and did a half job. Splash and dash, they call right. that. That's, that's not me, I, 
I told her, I said, Janae, I said, I have to, you know, let this client go. I, I can't do it. The lady looked at me, you're, you're, you're firing me? Well, ma'am, I, I, I don't want to say it like that, but the quality of work that you want done, I mean, and she just made me feel uncomfortable. She's like looking at her watch the whole time. This lady, I mean, just walking in her front room, her hallway would have taken me a half an hour. You know what I mean? To do it right, I do a thorough vacuuming, I do this, I do that, you know? I do, I mean, cause then you have the, uh, her neighbor who does want quality, you know, if I came in and did the same type of job, she would never hire me again. And I, I want her neighbor, not her. Cause she's not gonna hire me again anyway. Unless I'm a splash or dash guy. So, you know, that, that doesn't matter. So we put, like John said, we put a lot of copy and text. People that care about their homes want information. One of my mentors is no longer in the industry. Joe Polish once told me, the more you tell, the more you sell. I hear a lot of people tell, oh, Roger, that's too much copy. No, 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 no. Well, yes, if you're just trying to get the basic client, I want people that care about their homes, that care about service, that will refer me. I want more people like them. You gotta go fishing for them. So if someone doesn't like this information and they don't call John, well, I didn't want them anyway. That's just me. Let's go to the next. Specialty service. Gosh darn it. Now, John, you just said um, EDDMs, I was waiting for the EDMs didn't work for you so great. Well, try a specialty EDM. Don't send out a basic service. Like I just told the mold and water damage guy. Offer a free mold analysis, not a free, but a mold analysis <clears throat> for a basic fee. Or if you do give a free mold analysis and tell them if, you know, if you, they do hire you to do any work, you'll give them, I don't know, what's for a mold job? Just tell them you'll give them $100 off for like a $10,000 job, right? So what's $100? But for carpet cleaners, what are the number one reason people call us? Pets. Right. But not just a flyer that has, you don't see any price on this. You don't see any. There's no way I could go on the main line and tell somebody, oh, I have a, a pet owner special room, a room special for, I don't know, $25.99. That room could be full of pet yarn. I could be in there all day. But I break down mold guys, water damage guys, why they want me to come out and do a pet, a pet odor inspection. I show them images of a real bad spotty, spotty pet odor problem, and then I show them a finished product. This rings my phone, John. COVID-19, thank you very much for the cleaning industry. Very sad for humanity. Thank you, COVID-19, for the cleaning industry. Sanitizing and disinfecting services. Very popular for businesses. We give them a sticker on their door for letting us come in. We use these fiber machines. Um, I don't know. You got it. You got it. You got to wear it. You don't fiber me. You know? So we volume, wipe everything down. We put a sticker on their door. $100 an hour. The bigger the building, the longer you'll be there, and then they want you have to renew this sticker every month because you want the people, their consumers, to see that it's been disinfected and sanitized every month because you don't want to see a place that was disinfected back last May when the pandemic started and the date because we put the date on the bottom of it. Well, this says 2020, man. You haven't disinfected now. Maybe he did, but if he hadn't done it in a while, or that still has that sticker on the door, guess what happens? That leaves a bad taste in his customer's mind. Did he really disinfect the place? Well, the sticker doesn't say that. This is a big deal. 
Carpeting your flooring pet odor. <coughs> Realtors love this. And we'll also <coughs> take care of the impact system for air ducts as well. Basic pet odor job, cleaning all the air ducts, typical four bedroom house, $1,000 easy. Throw the sanitizing disinfectant in it, $1,200 easy. Thank you, COVID-19, for the cleaning industry. I've never been able to just sell it so easy before. Everybody wants to be virus-free, if that's what they believe. I don't know how many more years this will last. I don't even know if it'll, you know, do it for next year. But for this year, while everybody's getting vaccines, and we're about to play nice, Biden's the new president, and we have our first female, Black president, whatever. Everybody's happy, right? This stuff works. It works. John, try it. I take it you haven't did it in a while, and even if you have, put some specialty services on it. Talk to them, John. This is the backside of the pet odor. We pinpoint for accuracy. We remove contamination from all surfaces. Our commitment. Name anybody in the carpet cleaning industry, name one, and I'll pay you. That's putting it out there like that. Then when I get to their house, I have, oh, it says you uh, do a, a decontamination, pet decontamination treatment right here. And it's the name of my company. So it's not some brand that I got somewhere from somehow, whatever. Specialty services. Gentlemen in the water damage and restoration business, offer free and not, not free, but if you offer free, then you know you tell them that you're going, um, you know, you got to figure it out how we would put it out there. But you want to get out there, you want to talk to people. Mold scary. You can't give a free analysis and make some money. You can't. Mold isn't like carpet cleaning. I've done both. I have people that I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money. Well, ma'am, I understand. You always have to be very patient when you're telling someone about mold. Water damage is different. They won't call their insurance company. They just, you know, they just want the water sucked up pretty much if they look. All I got is $500. Just suck the water up. As long as you sign this release form. Mold is scary. If I could make you, just because I was in that business, I could make you an EDDM that would have people think they see mold <laughs> and just call you. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, being sneaky or anything like that. But honestly, things that look like they're discolored. Let's look right now at the ceiling tiles right here. Everybody, do you see one wet spot? One. If you guys have been in the mold business for any length of time, you guys can't go in anywhere. I know I still can't go in a building, especially an apartment building, and I see a, a brown spot in a ceiling. And I'm, the guy said, oh man, my, my machine is, my, I mean, my building's, go ahead. I'm just saying, anywhere we go, he's always inspecting the like he's a building inspector. Even when we went to eat at Bonefish, he was looking up the, right, right across the street, he was looking up. <laughs> And the guy was like, oh, what's wrong? That's it. They look, what's wrong? It's just natural. Well, isn't mold everywhere to some extent? And then yes, you add it, water. It, it is. But flowers. see, and oh God, I don't want to, I, you guys are getting ready to laugh because I think they know. And you too. I'm going to stop putting you out here. But um, there are different types of molds. The black mold is just a color. That doesn't, statue botch. That's why you want to get it tested. Statue botrys is the one that's very toxic. Then there's another one called Penicillium aspergillus. 
which is known as the wood mold. Now you guys, you, you gotta know I know my stuff. Now. And, and it's, it's normally on wood in between like the structures. That's why you always have to do so much demolition or you can buy these little fancy cameras, these little thermal cameras that started like $3,500. And, but so you can charge. This is what I'm telling you. If you buy this stuff and you do a mold analysis, just for having this camera, think about people don't want their walls and all knocked down or cut out to see what's behind them. I know you can buy a borescope. I used to have all that too. But if you buy a thermal, cam thermal imaging camera and you hold it back like this and the person can see the blue and the wet that's in behind their wall, do you understand? You guys do. Come on. And you can give me that straight face, but you do too. You guys know, like, as soon as your customers see that, you you got a job. You're making money. So I, I'm yeah, because I love mold, man. I used to boy, if I could get well enough again, you guys know, oh, man. <laughs> that John, I tell you, that was some money. Um, four trucks, four big trucks, twelve guys, the most employees I ever had. This is thirty thousand dollar jobs. Not days, not, I mean days, not weeks, not months, jobs. You guys know that. Like, a lot of sleepless nights. One o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. I had a uniform ready. I had to go. Or they was calling somebody else. So get that work, gentlemen. Go out, target the market. Don't let the market target you. Don't wait for them to call you and now I gotta call my insurance company. Meanwhile, they're calling somebody else that can get out there maybe a little bit faster than you. No, no. Target them. Let them know that if you see something on your wall, I'll come out and look at it right away. If you smell something, and you know, the psychological, as soon as you put this stuff in writing in an image, the psyche, I need to call him. I had to really adjust this. This was supposed to be basically, I thought, the carpet. But you guys took me to a field that I know, that I loved. It took care of me and my very young family. All my kids are grown now, but we did pretty good. EDMs. I got seven minutes and then it's your turn. I'm gonna tell you, her stuff is gonna be more important than mine, but I still hope you guys got a little bit from me. Um, go to the next. That's it, that's it, right? Okay, so forget about carpet cleaning unless you're John and this guy is thinking about getting in it. Um, the question you don't ask or you don't think you want to ask is the one you should ask. I'm telling you that up front. This cost you nothing. My experience and the field that you guys are in and the field that we're in, you know, I will, I will try to help you and put them together so, you know, you can leave the experience with a little bit more experience on how to gain people's attention. I'm not telling you, I'm not here to tell you how to clean. I'm not here to tell you how to get mold or what machines or what chemicals to use. I'm here to help you create the target market that you want. You can choose and target the client that you want. In your case, you can, you can really just let them know, look, there's someone out here that can check and verify if you have a mold problem. And then at the bottom of your EDM, I would say before it gets bad, before it turns into 5,000, 10,000, that would get you guys calls. Because people think about that, especially the more expensive their home is, and if it's a business owner, he got to worry about people suing. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, uh, I think my chest hurts. Next thing you know, he has a little, I don't know, penicillin mask for Gillis or something in his chest. Or now he's trying to sue the, uh, the, the owner or the, or the boss that he worked for or whatever. See, all these things, if you just put them out there in layman's turn, people scan things before they put them in the trash. Oops. Wait a <coughs> minute. That's real. Any questions? Janae, I'm thank you. I'm right. Let's let's do my raffle, and then you can um go ahead and tell them about the end. I'll go ahead and 
Take those of anyone that's turned them in on gentlemen here so far. We'll do the wrap up shortly. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. So I have one, two. Did I get you? Everyone, this is Janae Lloyd. She owns RLMA Services, which is an inbound answering service. And I thank you for your time. I will be in booth 606. If anything comes to mind later or you have any questions or whatever, you want to know more about the, I do much more than EDDO, but that's what this one was um, about, this meeting. That, um, in Las Vegas, um, if you guys are coming to that one in September, that dramatic. I'll be discussing some other marketing things that I'll Okay? Just pick one. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. You want more? Yeah. I didn't make it dramatic. So, <laughs> zero, 091132. Not everybody answered once. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote my name on my zero nine. Is the name on the back of it? Zero nine one one three two. I'm three five. I don't know my thing is. Who's Chad Kelly? Me. This guy. Hey Chad. Oh. Hey. Good job. I lost my other part of my text. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, we keep this. Sorry. Right. You get that, and thank you for filling that out, and That's thank right. you for. I hope you got a box. Guy for us. <laughs> <laughs> so it they didn't out. let me get back in the. Exhibition center yet to get the box. All right, so you got some cut decontamin decontamination treatments. Awesome. Thanks, sir. You have a real good oxidizer right there. You have two um, deodorizers. Don't let her smell them because you'll never get to make any money off it. You'll be doing your house. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to do my carpets first. I was going to ask, like, what machine can I put this in? That lavender vanilla. Oh, nice. You're going to love it. I'm just saying. Okay. I do love some oh. lavender vanilla. Can you get this up for me? Yeah, you can go ahead and I'll bring this up. Oh, that's By you. 30, you're doing the free cocktails. I know everybody's waiting to get there in an hour. So we're going to start off with the um, EDDM, but um, RLMA is Roger Lloyd's marketing yeah, assistant, you, right? started by me. Oh, Actually, this was started before I met Roger. It just wasn't named until I met Roger. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have um, over 25 years in the customer service industry, so I've come from the uh, corporate world, so to speak, if you will. And in doing so, I've taken on a lot of customer service work and um, have learned to present myself uh, more than proficiently over the phone, effectively, and for any company or job that I was working for. Um, I've been able to work myself up through the ranks and become HR manager. Um, so being an office assistant, things like that, I started off doing, but uh, I wound up kind of picking up a bit of everything since the age of 18 all along the way, because I'm only 20. So in those short two years, <laughs> I was able to pick up all of this information oh, <laughs> and then be able to share it with you. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. So, <laughs> and that, that is me birthing RLMA services. I gotta, I gotta go, I'm sorry. Not a problem. We'll talk soon, yeah, okay? I'll, I'll definitely be. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, John, you're my neighbor, man. 606. <laughs> yeah. We'll be at 606. Oh, yeah, and I'll, I mean, I'll see you at the cocktail hour thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, not only does RLMA provide the service, uh, the service of doing the EDDM, template program, which I'll explain a little more in detail. I just want to kind of give you guys a little glimpse of what is done with this uh, marketing assistant program. So there's the EDDM uh, system. There's also a residential marketing program, which I will have Roger explain because he created it and he can explain it very eloquently. So we work together. He used me to push buttons. I'm going to use him to <laughs> explain that as well. Um, in addition to the residential marketing program, we also have a commercial, um, it's a video commercial to be used with your existing website and social media. So there are things that work hand in hand and work together that we can help, uh, help you with developing or maintaining the business that you're running now. Uh, we also provide uh, 
my biggest, which is my baby, the live indoor answering. Inbound. Live in, I said indoor, didn't I? <laughs> live inbound answering. I was going on the everyday door, sorry. Uh, live inbound answering is something that is very important because it's going to help project um, a very professional image for your company. It's going to help your company appear to be much bigger, much larger than it truly is. That's not to say that it's not large enough, but it's going to assist with that. No one will know, be none the wiser whether or not you're pulling your truck out of your garage every night. Not that that, not that you would provide a lesser service. It's just for something, for some reason, society has it implanted in our minds that we're getting better service if you come from a big, well-known name that's spending a whole lot of money and gonna turn around and charge the customer a whole lot of money too. So that's not us mostly. So we wanna help with that image. So RLMA services, if you go back to the mirror you did, is meant to project the image that you want for your business and help turn your customers into lifetime clients. A customer is great, but you wanna be able to see that customer. You wanna be in their home a few times a year. Um, we just provided you with these items here. They say BioClean on them. Anytime we leave a spotter at a customer's home, that's our name there. And so they, when that spotter is empty, our name is already on their mind. When they pick up that bottle and it's empty, there's a phone number attached to that. They're gonna call, it brings to who? Me. I'm gonna schedule them again to come back out. Mrs. Jones, we did your upholstery. We did your tile and grout. Is it time to get your hardwood floors down there in the basement done? The kids are going to college. You know, I've built rapport with a lot of these people, so I know the stories about the kids and things like that. So I've been able to kind of build those relationships. Those are things that go hand in hand with turning a customer into a client. So if we can use that. The everyday, I'm sorry, the every door direct mail is just going to be one step to help uh, get you where you need to be. Um, there'll be carpet cleaning, tile and grout, upholstery, and different types of services. Now, this is what was mentioned, this is what we do now. However, if you're doing restoration services, if you need something more specific to the type of business that you do, we can customize it for that as well, it's just so that it makes better sense. Um, you can go to the next one. So air ducts, cleaning, area rugs, those are some that you can choose from. Can everybody see that script and that text okay? Okay. Um, EDDM, the every door direct mail system, it's just one of a few steps that you need to take to help you get to the level that you want to be. But it's a very important step. It's going to get your phone to ring. The live inbound answering is the key step. Because when your phone is ringing, there are a couple of ways that phone's gonna be answered. Either you're gonna answer the phone, or you might miss that call. So you gotta worry about who's answering the phone, and then once the phone's answered, how that call's gonna be taken. And then what's the result of that call? Is it gonna turn into a job? Or is it just some rate grinder on the phone wanna know, yeah, what's your prices for five rooms? That's it, that's all they wanna know. They, well, Stanley Steamer's charging $99. I just saw the commercial. They're coming at you that way. They're coming at you with knives, sticks, targets. <laughs> but you have to kind of soften that blow when they hit you with them and you say, well, I appreciate that. And then you tell them why they're in luck because they got the phone, they got you to answer the phone that day and what sets you apart. So live inbound answering can be the key step. It's the first step to help convert your calls into jobs. First port of contact is very important, very important. Most people kind of overlook that, but if you've been overlooking it for many years and your program's been working for you, and you may have heard from a couple people, whether it was from a customer that you lost, or maybe a bad review that you got, or maybe a good review that you know you really busted your chops trying to get this service done, and they didn't leave you a good review. People will remember to leave a bad review, won't they? Yeah. When you do the best work for the nail, yeah, 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 I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wave you away. I did that, this lady did my nails. I do her, oh, she stops me at the door. Uh huh, you're going to take your pictures of these nails and then I'm going to put them on Facebook. So we have a little deal going. You want to take pictures of my nails? I get a discount. You get a discount. So because of that, you want 
to make sure your uh, your calls are being converted to actual jobs and that those calls that are coming in are answered properly because they're representing you and your business. If you've been okay with just answering the way you have, you're gonna look up and notice it's something that you could have been doing differently and better. And this might be the solution to that. In most cases, it is. Um, the calls converting to jobs are so important, but what's the biggest problem? The, there is a problem. Most small business owners, most mom and pop operations, they don't get enough calls coming in in the first place. You, you, you have to kind of do a self-assessment of yourself and where you are. Maybe if you've been doing this 10 plus years, when we first started, we weren't taking that many calls. It took a few years for us to build that momentum, maybe, or maybe not or if the business was handed over to you. Look at your own situation and determine where you are now. You're just starting. There are some things that you can anticipate and expect. You might want to kind of avoid that and mitigate that with this type of system. You'll avoid having that type of issue by having a live inbound answering agency available to you to take your call. Now, the solution, you got to get your phone to ring. That's the solution. How? Maybe you use the PDM template program as a tool. Um, you, you have to know how to do it though. Roger gave very, very good information. He expressed to you that although most of you won't be doing carpet cleaning, that you can kind of plug in what you do. Uh, if you do carpet cleaning um, and you charge by the room versus the square footage, we can um, adjust that and edit or customize that you know, just for the methods that you use for your services. Could you go to the next thing, please? So the best way to use the EDMs as a tool, but knowing how, the best way to do that is to be in the know. You've heard them say knowledge is power. It really is. Um, you need to know a lot. You need to know your competitors' prices. You need to know what your competitors are offering. You need to know, if you're a dry clean method, you need to know the people that are immediately around you if they offer that as well. Because if you're trying to set yourself apart and say, oh, we, we do dry clean, well, those that are so right where you're trying to market, you wanna be in the know. You need to know what's going on with those that you are uh, up against, so, so to speak. That's gonna be very, very helpful to you. Gotta get your phone to ring. You gotta get your phone to ring. Knowing your competitor's pricing, Knowing their services are going to empower you and help you uh, kind of set yourself apart from what they're doing because you're going to show them the value of what you do. You're going to show them how important it is to have called you versus ABC Restoration Services. Um, you need to know what they offer. Are they offering specials? We don't necessarily want to promote that you offer too many specials. When you do it, you have to do it a certain way. So I don't want to get ahead of myself, but know their methods of cleaning. Know their methods of whatever services that they're providing so that you can be right there to meet or exceed whatever it is they're doing. They're your competition. You want to choke them out, so to speak. Um, also, know who answers their phones. Is it their mom answering their phones for them? Is it their wives answering their phones? Is it, oh, my sister Julia will answer my phone? Well, if Julia's off on Wednesdays, how reliable is she? You know that on Wednesdays, you have to schedule around uh, Julia's whatever, her schedule, so that everything will have an, a seamless flow, so to speak. How seamless is that? Not really, is it? Um, know anything about your competitor that makes them different or stand out. So again, so that you can meet or exceed. Whatever that challenge is, you can overcome it. Apply any of this information to the market that you choose to target. If you are choosing, uh, some people choose a, a different demographic than what you would think of automatically, we'll get into that. Hello. Um, it's very helpful though, when you have all of these uh, bullet points kind of covered and you kind of know what the competitor's charging and you know what methods of cleaning that they're using and you know who's answering their phone, how well or how poorly their phones are being answered and you can say, ah, oh, got them. They don't pick up their phone line 
or up, oh, got him. He's yelling at the customer, <laughs> not deliberately, but the dog on truck bound is going. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> so this is very helpful to empower you to kind of take the competition out, so to speak, okay? Next slide, if you would. Know your demographic. Knowing your demographic is very important. We were just talking about when he showed the screenshot of the EDDM, he was showing you the incomes for those different areas. I go a little further because do I, depending on what I'm marketing to, am I gonna market to the, the millennials? Maybe, if, if I'm going for volume. But am I going to market to someone in the 35 to 55 range? Yes, if I'm going for the higher job ticket. Because they're still in the workforce, they're not quite retired, right? And I'm going and selecting the right areas in these right zip codes for these postal routes. So I'm the one that makes it a little easier on you. One less thing maybe you have to do. One less thing you have to worry about so that you know that RLMA is going to take their time to select for you and your business just who you need in your targeted market. In our zip code, in our zip code where we live in Pottstown, the rates are very, they're a little low. They can be, what, $25, $30 a room is what you mentioned earlier, so I gotta fuck with that, put that up there. I'm the one that always goes, Roger, what are you doing? He's like, be easy, Janae, our phones are gonna ring. And they do. And then it's like, we really are calling. He's like, yeah. They see $25, $30 a room, yeah, they're gonna call. But there's work to do. That demographic has a lower income. We can market to them by using Facebook, Instagram, well we don't really do Instagram, Facebook or any social media. That's where you're going to get the volume. You're going to get inundated with those calls because if you're advertising that you're doing $25, $30 a room or if you're using um, lesser pricing, now some of you might kind of squeal at that because you know the value of the work that you do. And I'm going in a direction with this, and it might seem familiar, but don't be fooled. It's not really where you think I'm headed. You'll just see what I'm talking about here. In our target market, we really want to aim for the higher income. For This is what we have chosen, our preferred target market. Higher income. We can charge them $50, $75, and $99 a room. They don't blink an eye. They don't blink an eye. That demographic is marketed differently. We use the EDDM program to market to them. John was here, he just stepped out, but he was mentioning, as Roger was saying, out in the main line area, these higher end areas, where the market values of these homes are higher end, but I don't necessarily use strictly the market value of the homes, because the same thing that Roger was mentioning before, we don't know how they acquired that home, if it was inherited, and just because you live in that million dollar mansion, things change. Still gotta pay the taxes. On gotta the pay the taxes. You gotta do a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Make enough money to pay. Gotta that. do a whole lot of stuff. But in the meantime, if you are on the retired end, you don't have the same type of income that you had when you acquired that home. So there are a lot of factors that go into it. We don't need to get all into that. The whole idea is income. That's the demographic that we are choosing. If you base it on the income when you're looking to increase the ticket value, that's what you want to do. Now, if you're looking at volume, if you're looking at going for volume, then by all means, go for the lower income, but by all means, advertise. We recommend that you advertise to them by way of social media. Now, can they be done at the same time? Yes, carefully, because they have to be tracked and reported. Now, that can be done through live inbound answering as well. With the live inbound answering program, one of the first things that is asked is how'd you hear about us? Now, how consistent are you going to be when you're answering your own phone or your sister answers or your neighbor might forget, the cat came in and, oh my God, I don't know what happened. I got your daughter from school and I fixed her lunch and then your phone calls came in. I took them for you. I booked Mrs. Jones. She asked me a couple questions. I took care of her, but I forgot to ask blah or whatever it was. There's an issue with consistency sometimes. Having a live inbound answering service that I provide, my agents are very well trained. Um, they are incentivized to make sure that they hit certain points. 
They make sure that they are greeting your customer. They are making sure they are welcoming them back if they are repeat customers. There's certain special care that I make sure that they welcome your customer, welcome them back, or they tell them, hello, thank you for being a part of our family, welcome aboard. So whatever it is, they acknowledge your customer. They are showing up as an extension of you in your business. All right. Okie dokie. Okay, so that was the next sale there. Can you go, just go back one? Let me make sure I didn't forget something. Yes, so tracking and reporting. Tracking and reporting is done through the live inbound answering um, model as well. And the way, I'm not gonna say what, how we're able to do that, I'll be giving you my secrets. But <laughs> outside of that, we are able to track and report to you so you can see where your money is going. You can see where your efforts are going. You can see how many calls you're getting per day. You'll know that Tuesdays are really good days. You're getting a lot of calls. Or Saturdays are a little weaker than you expected. You'll know, and you'll know how to um, market in the future and what you're projecting based on what calls are being reported and tracked as well. Next screen, please. I feel like a teacher. <laughs> okay. So with this one, a lot of times we choose the largest, beautiful, most beautiful home with the highest market value, as I explained. Sometimes five hundred thousand dollars and up. That might not be a whole lot where you where you're from, or that might be too much. I don't know. I'm born and raised in Southern California. I would be taken to task to find a property that's worth five hundred thousand dollars. That's worth anything, to be honest with you. However, in South Houston, that'll look like a billion dollar mansion. I'm just saying, Sugarland, Texas, it's a beautiful place. If you've never been, look it up. Okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is depending on the region you're in, those beautiful homes and the way they're taken care of and maintained, they mean something, but they mostly mean something to those of you that are volume marketers because you want to get that square footage. You want to be able to be in that customer's home who will eventually become a client. You want to be there over and over again, at least four times a year. What you want to look at instead is their income, not their home value. Always want to take a look at their income. What are they bringing in? What are they reporting that they're bringing in anyway? <laughs> and that will help determine, you know, these are the demographic. These are the people that I want to target. The customer is much more likely to digest a higher ticket item that's based on the quality, based on the value, and the upgrades. What are the upgrades? Those are the enhancements that come along. Pet odor treatment, fabric or carpet protector, traffic lane brighteners. That's, I, I'm, I'm speaking carpet cleaner language right now, but enhancements. We can determine what enhancements are for each um, industry. So I'm, I'm pretty good at that. So whatever, after consulting with you, I'll determine what you feel enhancements uh, can be added to increase the job ticket. Um, you wanna keep attractive prices for the purpose of keeping the phone ringing. You don't wanna be off-putting and you certainly don't wanna insult your customer, no matter what demographic they're in. You just, I, I gotta say that again. You don't wanna ever insult your customer uh, based on their demographic. You'd be very surprised. Um, keep upgrades available for all of your customers. Keep them available as options. Your customer will feel very well respected when you make them feel that they are choosing their own service. You let them know you can always upgrade to, when, when, I, when I book, a, a, when Roger has a special going, and I'll be like, oh my God, you in this two rooms for $49? How are we gonna, I'm hungry, we're gonna eat? I mean, <laughs> two rooms for $49? complaint that I had, I'll, I'll bite my tongue, I will never say that to him again. What was the ticket on that last one that we did? Was that the thousand dollar one or was the one that was just under it? That was the eight hundred dollar lady? Eight hundred dollar lady, I'll take it. Really, like, it started, off, it started off pretty doggone low. But I also planted the seed, I let her know. Not only do we have packages you get to upgrade to, you don't have to, you get to. When they're approached that way, they don't feel like you're gonna beat them over the head with 
well, now you got to have this. Well, now you got that. Well, now you. Well, now that ten dollar a room that I was quoting you that you thought you were gonna get away with only a hundred dollars has now become three fifty, and you're the winner. I'll take a check. No, I won't. Whatever your prices are, you don't want to switch up on your customer like that. That never ends well. Never ends well. And I'm I'm very much putting myself in the shoes of the consumer all the time. Because I imagine someone in my home saying, yeah, I know we told you it was going to be 200 bucks, but yeah, just give me 300 we call it. I let this dude in my house? That's how I'm feeling at this point. You, you get very remorseful, very quickly. And I hope you will never have to see that look on a customer's face when they get buyer's remorse with you instantly. It's not a good, it's not a good feeling. Not at all. <clears throat> all right. We would say, okay, we, we, we went over that. Keep the attractive prices in your phone ring. EDDMs, they boost your phone calls. They'll definitely boost your phone calls. The, the live inbound answering is gonna work hand in hand with that EDDM program. So if you, the upgrades as options, the attractive prices that are gonna get your phones to ring and having a well-qualified, well-trained, industry-trained agent to answer your phone line and upgrade your Dodge ticket. That's so much better than ABC carpet cleaning. Yeah, hold on, I can't hear you. I just wanted to know, are you guys open till five or do you work Saturdays? How much is a three bedroom? Yeah, I can't hear you. I'm gonna hang up the phone and I'm gonna call the next guy who'll answer the phone. So there are a couple of problematic issues with that. Um, your agent will build the ticket by upgrading, not upselling. We all know the terminology of upselling. It's like, it's a bad word. It's, it's the U word, is it's a bad word. <laughs> it's nothing that anyone wants to feel that they have to do. I don't want to feel like I'm upselling my customer. And a customer just told us recently, I don't want to be upsold. They'll tell you. They have no problems letting you know because when you feel like someone's in, their, in your home and they're there, on commission, they're gonna find everything that's wrong with you. You're thinking in your mind, this is just supposed to be a little basic carpet cleaning for my kid's birthday party so that my mother-in-law doesn't talk crap about me again like she did last Christmas. I just want my carpets clean. And now you're coming in here telling me this needs to be fixed. I didn't need this. So you have an upset customer possibly. Your agent will build the ticket by upgrading, not upselling, they start planning to see. An upsell, what's an upsell? It's more like a bait and switch, right? Yeah, I know we told you it'd be $100, it's more like 200. That doesn't sit well, sticker shock. That's an upsell. Commission-based technicians, they do upsells. When you're bullied into a service, it's a freaking upsell. It's a bad word in our book, it really is. I think I drove the point home on that, right? <laughs> Okay, we wanna look at the upgrade. A good example of the upgrade is gonna be options for your customer. Your customer is making choices, but they are given educational information. They are being educlean by the people that are answering the phones for your business, and you are educating them by letting them know this is a safe bet, this is the value of what you're doing, let's go. And they get you, they get, the ticket completed and they plant the seed on what's gonna happen next. So the expectation is already set. Your improvements offered as a premium service, you plant the seed at the first point of contact and that's gonna help drive, you know, upgrade your ticket. Next scene. Live inbound answering. So ask yourself, how are your phones being answered? Have you, who's answering your phone? Ask yourself, I wanna know from each of you if that are already in business and have everything running. Have you hired a service? <clears throat> have you hired office staff? Do you answer your phones yourself? Who answers your phone? Office staff. Office? Okay. Who do you, who do you have? Office. Someone you've hired? Yeah. What about you, sir? Office during business hours before is in my cell after hours. Okay. And yourself? Not applicable. Oh, okay. yeah. You haven't started yet. What was your plan? I've got a few ideas, but Nothing that's worth taking up your time for okay. right now. <laughs> All right. Well, just want to see where we were. So mostly, most of you have hired office staff to do that, and that's great. Um, you have to ask yourself, though, how reliable 
not, not to throw anybody under the bus. Anything can happen, let's be honest. Um, flat tire, kid had a cold today. Yeah, I know that we've had the pandemic in the last year, but you guys know that some of that stuff resonates. Oh, I couldn't come in today. Me and my husband had such a bad day that this and that happened. Oh, my mom's got so no one's there to take her. You need someone dependable and reliable that's gonna answer your phone. That's not to knock your office staff. You chose them, you selected them. That's not to knock them at all in any way. How many calls are taken each day? Are you taking more, more than 12 calls a day? Or are they a lot more? Are they more like over 25 calls a day? Or are they even greater than that? Are they more than 50? Anybody taking over 50 calls a day? Anybody taking over 20 calls? Yeah? Anybody taking over 10, 12 calls a day? Yeah. So, so somewhere between 15 and 25 calls for you? Yeah, I think I've it in a while. Somewhere that's a good, yeah, that's about, that's a good sweet spot around there, 15 to 25. And that's what I've noticed I've been able to manage. Um, last question, and this is something I have to ask myself. So don't be offended. When will you be honest with yourself? Are you noticing the missed calls with your office staff? Anybody, have you experienced that at all? Are you? Noticing inconsistency sometimes. Do you know if you have missed calls? How will you know? You want to be able to track them and you want some type of report? Um, we can help you with that. If you have office staff, that's great. I would never suggest that you get rid of them. But we can use them differently. I'm just saying. Um, do you notice, uh, notice when you do call back have they booked with your competitor already? If you did miss that call, you tried to grab it? These are things that can be problematic. Surely they happen. I hope they haven't happened to you, but they do, they can. All calls with live inbound answering are answered by industry trained staff with full product knowledge of your services. Your services. So if you don't offer hot water extraction, if you don't offer hardwood floor cleaning, or if you only offer air duct cleaning, we will make sure that these people that are assigned to your account, not only are they industry trained, but they'll have full product knowledge of all of your services and how you'd like to have them um, uh, perform. So there's fewer missed calls, higher call conversion rates, and call tracking and reporting. Next thing, Leslie. Okay, and then lastly, we have our Jobs Not Leads program. Jobs Not Leads is a program that um, I have created to help boost revenue during lean times. Lean times for us up in Pennsylvania is first quarter. Winter is pretty brutal for us. But lean times for others can be for you know different reasons or you can just add it to part of your everyday thing because it's just going to help boost revenue overall. Having jobs available that are already scheduled that you don't have to fight for with a competitor. I'm not knocking Angie's list. I'm not knocking Home Advisor. They're huge, they're big. God bless them. However, anyone that has had to use them, I have witnessed that they're good as a temporary fix maybe, and that's fine. But do you really wanna rely on that heavily uh, and have to kind of compete with the other guy that got the same information, you thought the lead was exclusive, and you get there, dude's upstairs laying his hose and everything, and you, you've missed out on a job. So all the jobs that uh, are booked for you would be verified and vetted. These jobs would be booked or set up with the decision maker of the company, so you're not getting the, not that the janitor is not important, let me be clear, but you're gonna be uh, set, getting a job that is booked with the decision maker of that company or their designate. Um, there'll be client follow-up, and we have a client retention program with a maintenance plan um, that we can discuss as well. And so this is a good alternative, um, and be, so you can be exclusive and not have to worry about the competition with the next guy, with the next world. Then we have something that I think most of you would benefit from, because it looks like most of you already have office staff in place, and if you are happy with that situation and that setup, RLMA Services has recognized that we can, as an alternative 
to the live inbound answering, we can train your staff, your people. It's a three-day training program. It's very simple. We run your program with your staff using your system. The best alternative to live inbound answering. While you allow your business to grow and scale up to how you'd like it to be, we can help you with the three-day training program. We allow you up to two designated staff members and train them within three days. Now, this is certification. We, once we complete the three-day training, it is, um, they are given an examination or an assessment, so to speak, so it's not so much like school, but an assessment so that you know whether or not that person can fully answer the phone lines. We do allow another day that you can, if you need to regroup and do a retraining for a day, we allow that as well. But uh, for the most part, it takes three days to get the staff that you select uh, trained in the same manner that we train our own for our live inbound answering agents. So it's something you would certainly want to take a look into uh, as you scale your business up and continue to grow. And then lastly, we have the residential marketing package. That's something that I would like Roger to speak about very briefly. And then there's our social media website video commercials. That's something that um, I mentioned. If you are looking to target the, the market by way of volume, as I mentioned before, do so with social media. For only 159 bucks, you do, our, do one of our commercials. It goes to your website and over to your social media. And we'll be happy to demonstrate that over the next few days. 606 is where we'll be. Roger, real quick with the residential marketing package, if you don't mind. Was there one more skip? Was there one more? No, I just wanted to um, okay. let everyone see. Oh, yes. This is a. Um, oh, they broke up. <laughs> That's now, sad. This is one of um, Janae's more oh, veteran. Oh, start from the beginning? veteran of answering, live inbound answering associates. <coughs> Go up a little bit, up to your right. There's a little. Oh, all the way to the right. All the way, way to the right of the bar. Yeah, up, 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 up. not that one, up. Right, yep, down a little bit. No good. Getting warmer, yeah, hot, there you yeah. go. Sorry the volume wasn't that great, but no. <laughs> it worked out good enough because it's just a few of us here, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, basically, I'm going to just skim this because we have a lot of um, resident um, restorers in here, remediation guys. Um, even if you do uh, restoration, you should always go in your um, under your arm with some type of folder of information. It just professionalizes you. Don't just go in with a bill. Don't just go in with an invoice. Have some type of packet of information. Even if it's something basic about mold that you stole from the internet, give your clients a little bit of information that says a lot about you. And it just and shows that you're just more than just a guy coming in taking care of a problem. For carpet cleaning, we give a folder for all of our services, a little breakdown packages, things like that. We have a care guide for when we're not there that just explains how they should vacuum their carpet. 
change the filter in their vacuums. Everyone has these new style vacuums today and they don't suck after a while because they don't change the filter and they don't clean it. They don't empty it, but the filter is full of pet hair. And after last year, I mean, they've sold more vacuums. Hoover and everyone made a fortune after everyone's been in the house and the pets have did a number on the carpets and everything else for uh, a whole year. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We have a few here that stayed with us. We appreciate you. I'm sorry I don't have a prize for everybody, <laughs> but that wouldn't be right. If the, but I thank you, and um, I hope you got something out of this, even if you know you, you come up with an idea later about an Every Door Direct Mail program. It works for any business to take over your zip code of choice. You just want to get out of buying jobs and buy exposure. Yes, John was right. If you don't put the right stuff out there, if you just put a blanket EDDM out there, it will take long for, you know, you to grow. But like I just shared, shared with you guys, offer a mold inspection. Just say, you know, when's the last time you looked up or looked on the wall and you saw something that didn't look right? Why not give me a call? Let me talk to you about it. You'd be surprised. Like she just said, that two-room special, when we're hungry and nobody's calling, I'll put a two-room special for $49 out there. The phone will ring like wildfire. And then no, nobody's paying $49. When I get out there, I'm going to tell them, see these spots over here? We need a little treatment. We need to put a little pet decontamination here. Oh, what's that? And that opens up a whole nother window of opportunities. But it's not bait and switch. We, we do it properly. Yeah. I'm crazy. So. Yeah, because if you want me to come in there and just do $49, 20 minutes, I'll hook up my truck now. Get all the, you know, the natural dirt that's in your carpet out of the mouth. But is that what you really want? And see, you just got to get in front of the people. People are scared. They just want to see a carpet cleaner. First of all, they feel like they can clean their carpets better themselves most of the time. Because a guy that came in there, a Stanley Steamer, hired two college kids that don't give a darn about Stanley Steamer. They're just trying to make it through the summer months, right? So that makes it harder for us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Make sure you, you got a half an hour. Go get you a free cocktail. Take advantage of this. And um, hopefully we're at 606. Even if you can't use our services, stop by and come shake our hands. Say hello. We'll come see okay. you. Anybody interested in EDDMs or live?